The Red Lake Nation's Economic Development and Planning Committee has been working on ways to improve food security concerns for the community of Red Lake by creating three agriculture divisions. Reporter Emma Hudziak tells us more. Back in 2015, the Red Lake Nation chairman had a series of community meetings around food sovereignty, which sparked the plan in 2017 to build a Department of Agriculture for Red Lake, which includes a Red Lake Buffalo Ranch, Garden Acres, and a hemp farm. I became chairman. I always heard about people wanting the buffalo back, and it was finally done. And uh, working with the um, National Wildlife Federation Tribal Partnership Program, Wind Cave National Park, South Dakota, provided our first seven buffalo, but six of them, one of them passed away, so we had six. Five of them were born in 2020, and now we had 15 more, so we have 26 buffalo at this time. So it's growing, and it's an opportunity for us to bring our culture and our have our traditional foods back. The Buffalo Ranch is currently fenced in with 280 acres of land and will fence in another 300 acres this coming year. We currently have a MOU with Wind Cave National Park. Every two years we are on the top of the list to receive as many buffalo that we would like to take on for that year. First couple years are going to be all about research and training and then eventually we'd like to have um, enough buffalo to process to get into our schools, into our elderly nutrition program and to feed the community members. Alongside the buffalo ranch will be 140 acres of hemp and hay for feeding the buffalo that will rotate each year. There will also be approximately eight acres of fenced in garden with fresh produce. Our goal is to have an acre of potatoes, an acre of onions, an acre of celery, and an acre of carrots because that's what everybody seems to use on a daily basis. And we'll sell some, we'll give it away, we're going to have farmer's market. One thing that I always keep um, saying is that you're not sovereign unless you can feed your people. And so this way we'll be showing it how our sovereignty. Reporting in Gonvik, Emma Hudziak, Lakeland News. The Red Lake Department of Agriculture hopes to build future classrooms on the ranch in order to help both the youth and public learn more about agriculture. They also hope to have a total of around 600 acres of land for produce and buffalo when fencing is complete. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.